um, for example, what's going on in Syria? I'll tell you what's going on in Syria. And this is because I'm not working just by myself. I'm working with a lot of whistleblowers, and there's one whistleblower in particular. You're in, and just so you know, you're in contact with World Bank members also around the globe. Yes, yes. There's yeah. one of us from India. There's one of us from uh, Ethiopia. I forgot the last time I made uh, mentioned the list. I forgot one of the best, most intelligent of us is from South Korea, and we are all working together. Just like these thugs are working together, but I was going to mention about what Mark told me about Syria. Uh -huh. What's really going on is that there's natural gas, but you have to have a pipeline to get it to the market. So Qatar, which has all this natural gas, wanted to run a pipeline through Syria, and then they were going to reach the European market. Well, who's supplying the European market with gas? The Russians. The Russians. Okay. Saudi Arabia went to the Russians and said, if you stop protecting Syria, then we're going to sell you arms for cheap. And Russia said, no, I want my market for natural gas in Europe. So all of this business about dead babies and, and uh, sarin gas, that is just all to keep us confused. Everything that's going on in the news is simply to keep us confused. We don't need to be con confused. What we need to do is we need to turn around to these crooks with the crooks at the very top, and we need to say, no, well, you're not going to rip us off anymore. Well, We've I know, had enough. I know you speak fondly.